Okay, this tutorial will cover how to make and 3D print your lithophane. We're going to start out here on the CAD CAM website. I'm going to open up this link for the Lithophane Maker website. Go ahead and scroll down for the class project. We're going to use this one right here where it says Curved Lithophane Maker. So we'll select this one. Uh, and it goes ahead and lets you upload your images. You can do up to four. Uh, we're just going to start with one. I'm going to select choose a file. I'm going to go ahead. I got some photographs from Parrish. I'll go ahead and pick. I guess that's some essential standard folks doing uh, Christmas music. So we'll select that as my file. I believe this is framed. I believe this is 0.3. We're going to change the height to 100 millimeters. That'll adjust these two values. We'll come down here and change our angle to 120 degrees. And we're gonna adjust our frame width to five millimeters and our frame height to five millimeters. Keep scrolling down. We we'll leave the overhang at 45, maximum thickness at 3.6, minimum at 0.6. Uh, I only have one picture, so there's no spacing there. Uh, I need to put in your email address. And then all you have to do is click Create STL. It's not going to save any of these settings, but there's only a handful we put in, so it's okay. So I'm going to click Create STL. It's going to bring up their Add to Filament, but then it's going to go ahead and download uh, that STL. It's going to download as a zip file, so I'm going to click on uh, Show in Folder. On a PC, all you have to do is right-click on it uh, and say Extract. Uh, I'm going to say extract and it will bring up the STL file that we need uh, that's in my downloads folder. If you're on a Mac, you just have to go to the downloads folder uh, and double click uh, on the zip file and it should open it up as well. So once I've got this uh, inside of here, uh, this is my STL file. I can go ahead and bring up Prusa Slicer. I'm going to come over here to file import my STL. This is all done in millimeters. So we'll choose the top one. I just have to go uh, and find wherever you save that STL. For me, I left it in my downloads folder. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And there, if I kind of roll around and look at it, there's our lithophane. So we're going to come back here. We want to rotate this 90 degrees. We come over here to the z-axis to the rotate row I'm going to type in 90 degrees and hit enter this is going to help it be a little bit more stable for uh, staying on the bed while 3d prints we're going to change our print settings to be 0.2 quality i'm going to leave this as generic pla mark 3s or mark 3s plus and we're going to change the infill to 100 percent when we do that, uh, it's going to ask to switch to rectilinear. We'll say yes. And then all we have to do is go ahead uh, and slice it. If you try to print yours uh, and it doesn't stick to the bed, it comes off, you can always come up here and add a brim. Uh, when we select brim and slice it, it must take a couple minutes, a couple seconds to slice. Uh, when it adds a brim, it adds a little extra layer here on the bottom. Uh, to help it stick to the bed. So you do not have to do that. Uh, you can leave that option unchecked uh, and it will just uh, not do that for you. I can uncheck it uh, and hit slice again. I'll wait for it to do all those calculations. And now you can see on my preview there's just the, the little perimeter shells. So there's nothing to help pull it down. Uh, so this will be about seven hours. Uh, the prints, uh, if you're on point two quality, uh, the prints usually take somewhere between uh, five to seven hours. At this point, I'll go ahead and export G-code. This just says curved WLW, and that's the, the file name that it started out as. Uh, I'm going to give it a lithophane, uh, my initials. And then this was uh, essential standards. 
uh, and then you can go ahead and uh, save this to the SD card. Uh, make sure you get off the bed and you can go ahead and print it. If you have any questions, uh, just email me. Have a great day. Thanks. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cancel out of that because I don't, I don't need to save that. Just one more quick thing. I'm going to go ahead uh, back to uh, our original page. We'll get rid of all these things. Go back. Uh, it has what you need to turn in. Uh, you need a screenshot uh, of the Litho Maker, Litho Fade Maker settings. Uh, so you can just uh, take a screenshot of this. If it won't all fit, you can either zoom in or zoom out of your browser or just do a couple different uh, screenshots to get it. You will also need a screenshot of the Prusa Slicer settings. So you can come in here, uh, take a screenshot of all these settings. You'll need a, a photograph of your printed lithophane, like I have right here. Uh, you'll need your reflection. And these four, first four items need to be inserted into your web page so that they're visible like this. Uh, the last two, this .stl file and the .gcode file, you can put those into your Google Drive folder uh, for this project and then insert that folder so we have a list of all the uh, files that you need. Uh, but your reflection, the photo, and the two screenshots, those should be visible uh, on your page. If you have any questions, email me. Thanks and have a great day.